I am headed to a couple of shows that are part of the La Mama Puppet Festival at La Mama Theater in the East Village. This is my first time experiencing this festival and my first time at La Mama, so I'm super excited. The theater itself has an interesting backstory. It was founded by a woman named Ellen Stewart in the 60s. I just found her really inspiring, so I ended up ordering a book about her and the theater. I will talk about in a different video. Anyway, back to the festival. The first show that I saw was called Wunderkammer, Cabinet of Curiosities. So this was a piece with three marionette puppeteers who kind of take you through a series of vignettes, each based on another curious object. I thought it was delightful. It kind of invoked the senses. The whole show had a very playful tone, and the puppeteers worked beautifully together. It really was a good demonstration, in my mind, of collaboration and nonverbal communication. After that, we saw Tian Wen, Heavenly Questions for Modern Times. It was very dreamy and beautiful. By then, we were really hungry, so we went to this restaurant near the theater. It was a vegan pizza wine bar type place called Double Zero. It was delicious, but a little pricey and super loud. Anyway, then we just kind of walked around the village a little bit and it was fun. Yeah, I don't know what this place is supposed to be, but hey, you remember snow on the television? Okay, so a couple days later, I attended my very first Puppet Slam. This is where a bunch of performers do short pieces of their own work. And it's kind of like a poetry slam, but with puppets. And there were a lot of different styles of puppetry and the range of subject matter and tone. Um, so it was really mixed. And some of my friends were performing. And it was really fun to get to see them in their element there. I caught up with two of them after the show. This is Kaylee, Kaylee Therian. And she performed a piece called The Sock Project. And I developed it at the hotel this summer. And it was an exploration into uh, me performing with a non and having writing dialogue for a character that didn't speak English and spoke through sounds. And it was also me taking things from my personal life because frustrated with my personal life and trying to find joy. What advice would you give to someone who's interested in doing a puppet slam but is new to puppetry performance. Yeah, remembering to have joy and love in your piece and remembering that performance and theater is such a sacred space. Keep doing it as much as you can and don't, to, like, don't be too hard on yourself. Thank you so Thank much. You. This is Essie Wyndham and she performed a piece called Touched. Yeah, so my piece was about uh, the effect of embodied memories of touch and what happens to the brain when we are kind of trapped inside of those memories. This is your first slam, right? This is my first slam, this is my first uh, solo device work, and this is my first object theater performance. Wow. What advice would you give to someone who has never done something like this before, especially something so personal? Do the personal work. Do the work that you feel in your heart, you feel in your soul. Um, chase after what scares you. If, if something feels uncomfortable and too scary, that's probably what you need to do. Next I saw Everything Starts From A Dot. This is a really cool blend of technology and strings and projections. To watch the artist herself, it was like she was performing surgery. Everything was so precise. And the story is being told through this kind of journey of this dot. Side note for ASMR people, there were so many ASMR triggers in this show, which I'm sure was not intended or anything, but the artist, I believe, recorded her own sounds and it's just really good. And finally, I saw a show called Blind. To be honest, I was kind of blown away. It was really powerful, really well done, beautiful and creepy puppets. It was really interactive in a way that wasn't cheesy at all, which I think is hard to pull off. And then after the show, the artist invited the audience to come and look at the puppets, touch them. So we got to actually feel them and he answered people's questions and talked to people which was super generous and a lovely thing to do. He said the puppets are carved out of foam using scissors. They're super light and flexible 
and very expressive in the face and the eyes. I was expecting it to be more like substantial, but yeah, this is super light. Well mm -hmm. Here is my friend Marta manipulating the healer character, which in my opinion was the star of the show. The La Mama Puppet Festival is still going until November 25th. It's amazing. If you get a chance, you should go. Thank you, Denise and Miguel and La Mama. Thank you, Kaylee and Essie for letting me interview you and all of the amazing artists.